What a way to start a video. Sorry about that. I'm doing this uh, from a classroom. Um, and this is just a quick little video on how to render quickly. Not beautifully, but well enough for a lot of different applications, screenshots, and putting them in reports and stuff like that. It is not the most intuitive process. So I would go down to appearance. I've already done that and clicked it here. This is a um, this is a junction box, uh, beginning of a junction box that I was making for an assembly. And I'm going to go here, and these are usually made out of galvanized. This is one of the things that isn't that intuitive. You've got to drag this over to this. All right, now I've, it's galvanized, uh, but it doesn't really look that galvanized or that good. So if I wanted to put in a report to show, you know, kind of the way it would look when it was made, I would then go up here to, in this button here, and go down to render. A lot of the rendering that you know you have to get credits for. So if you go to render, this is not intuitive either. Uh, if you go to render, it's gonna ask you to turn on uh, credits, and it's gonna render in the cloud. But you can render on your computer, I don't know if it's happening on your computer, or the cloud, or both, it doesn't really matter, but you can render quicker and for free here, I'm um, sure it's not as good, but it's often pretty good. Sometimes this part is good enough, you know, and you could take a screenshot of this. Um, it really depends on what you want to do. Um, you know, you want to move it where you where you want it. It can throw shadows. You can do all kinds of of things to it in order for it to become what you want. Um, but I can get it to look different than this or a little bit more photorealistic if I go into, uh, I may want to, if I want that whole uh, shadow, I may want to zoom in and out. Then I go to in canvas render, I just click on that and it's going to change this. Now, a couple of hints here. <clears throat> this part here is going to show you what, what's happening and you'll get to excellent and final. I've never seen much of any difference between excellent and final. One big hint though is that, uh, so basically these kind of shadows around here will mostly disappear um, when you get close to here, but you know, it's looking pretty good. Um, you know, and we're getting close to excellent. But if you move this, it starts the process all over. So that's just something you need to be aware of. If you move it, it just starts, you go all the way back here anytime you move the object. Um, but this is, these are a few different ways to get different views. Um, and you probably want to think about, you know, different backgrounds and you can probably do that on here. And, you know, galvanized on gray probably isn't the best, but it, you know, and up here you can do some other things scene settings and you, you know you may want it to be in a correct environment or something close to that and you can do a lot of stuff with this but but it really I just wanted to get to the really basics of how you can do this quickly and easily uh, in the beginning and overcome a few of those uh, counterintuitive um, parts um, and hopefully this may help you help you